Hi friends, once again welcome back. This is for Axis Bank. Do you wanted to update your Aadhaar card online for Axis Bank? Also, do you wanted to do an KYC, confirm KYC or re-KYC online? I will show you how this can be done very quickly in this video. So once you have completed this process, you will get a message. You will get an uh, Aadhaar reference ID and it says Aadhaar is updated properly. And friends, you also get an option to change your address. This also we can see online because before confirming your address details uh, for the re-KYC, before that you can also change the address. You can see here, change address option will be there. You can change your communication or permanent address online. And after the process is complete, you get a message, SMS saying that thank you for re-KYC details has been successfully updated and you will also get a mail from Axis Bank and this is the mail KYC updated successfully and uh, you would have got a uh, content like this thank you for banking with us and stuff and there will be a service request number which says your KYC was updated as per status so this way you can uh, do a KYC or re-KYC and change of address and other update online for Axis Bank without visiting the branch and this is the best successful method so i am going to start the process step by step i am doing from mobile but what i would like to say you is mobile browser sometimes this will not work okay so in between i had to switch to computer at the larger screen because access bank maybe you can use the android app but i was using the web url so i would suggest you please do this exercise from a computer or laptop go to the accessbank.com website this is the official access bank website once you have taken this is the url i am giving in my video description you can copy paste but do from computer please and you can click on this head icon head menu icon you can see here once you click there you get options uh, select personal and under that click on login button this is the internet banking you uh, procedure uh, login procedure we are using so login id and password you have to give your net banking okay this is through net banking option i'm talking about so after entering that there will be a security question whatever question you have set before and you are supposed to answer the question and click on confirm this is normal procedure to log into the access bank net banking uh, portal so left side on top you get three line icon in computer you get this menu directly but in mobile you have to click the, like this and go under services option okay friends you can also scroll down at the bottom of the page also you get a services option both are the same okay but left side also you get services option as i have shown you before on the computer please do from computer so once you come here you get a quick link option and we are going to quick link first we are going to update Aadhaar okay click on update your Aadhaar option if you have already updated you can directly go to confirm KYC but I will show you both the options because for most of the people Aadhaar update also might be required if you do not require you can skip this update your Aadhaar option but I will uh, quickly show you what are the details to be given to update the Aadhaar once you click on update your Aadhaar it comes to a page where you have to enter your Aadhaar number or virtual ID both will work I am entering entering the Aadhaar number and I click here the uh, declaration I he, hereby give consent so after entering Aadhaar number you are going to tick the declaration and click on generate OTP and this is the problem in computer or sorry in mobile it keeps rotating and it will not work this is what I have noticed so do the same process from a computer or PC or laptop and it will work properly you can see here in computer i got an otp whatever aadhar i gave i got an otp and the mobile will get the otp from aadhar website enter the otp and click on submit this is the cool procedure once you click on submit you get a message like this aadhar updated okay and there will be a reference id also and you can also see after this bottom of the page you get a seed aadhar option if you wanted to seed the aadhar because if you are using this account for your uh, gas subsidy and things you can seed you have to seed the aadhar so bottom of the page after this you get a seed seed aadhar option you can try you can do that also okay friends if you wanted to seed it and note down this reference number you may not get an sms for aadhar update but please note this you can also copy it and store it it's for your reference and you get a message next time you are logging in you get a message that aadhar uh, seeding or aadhar 
update is success again you are going coming back to the services option and i let them let us see this time how to update the kyc confirm kyc or even for re kyc you can use so we have already done Aadhaar, uh, update now we are going to confirm kyc and through this option you can also change your address i will show you that so once you click on confirm kyc or re kyc both are the same option you can see here your personal details will be shown and there is an option at the bottom to change the address so friends if you confirm details it is going to take that re kyc is success with the existing address that means your communication address and permanent address is not changed that's why you are just going to confirm but suppose you wanted to change it before confirming kyc you have to click on change address and there might be uh, you might be asked to update your proof for the current address gas bill a lot of things will do Aadhaar card gas bill whatever government id proof you can update any of those things for changing the address so if in my case i'm not going to change the address please do these things from computer in mobile it will not work so if you do not want to change the address just click on confirm details and it will take the same address so you can see here clearly it came after confirming address success your kyc is successfully updated and a reference id also there so that is so simple process you will get two sms was what is the first sms first sms is like for the kyc application you have given it is saying that kyc update request is furnished with so and so details and immediately you will get one more sms you can see here successfully updated uh, and this is the request received so first message says you have given a request for kyc update this is the first sms and immediately you will get another sms saying that thank you for confirmation re kyc details as updated that is because i had already done kyc last year so they might ask you to do kyc each year okay friends so this is the second sms saying that your re kyc is success and clearly it uh, shows that your re kyc is updated as per our record and friends apart from that you will also receive an um, email address at the email which is given to your bank so that clearly says kyc updated successfully thank you for so and so and your request is updated as per us and there is a request service number also you can keep this email if again you got a call from access bank asking for kyc update you can give them this request number saying that it is done already thank you so much if you like the video kindly give us a like also please share and subscribe see you with another informative video